What's up guys, my name is Bardinsky and welcome back to episode 2 of my Master League series. Now this episode, uh, I think it's going to be the end of August when this actually finishes. So we need to get some transfer deals done, we've got some offers for some players we need to take a look at too. It's going to be a very, very busy episode. So Newcastle have bid 13.2 million for Sandy Gazzola, Joel Campbell from Marseille 6.1 million and Danny Welbeck 18.3 million from Malaga. Okay, so Santi Cazorla, I decided I'm going to keep, so we're going to end negotiations here, and uh, sorry Newcastle. Joel Campbell though, I will accept, Marseille, they can have him. We've got Alexis Sanchez, and uh, yeah, to have that 6.1 million would be quite nice um, for that kind of player, so we'll press yes. Okay, so that goes to 83 million on our current funds, and uh, yeah, Danny Welbeck, I made the big decision to actually keep him uh, this season, so I'm sorry Malaga, but... 18 million is good though, that is really good, but we're going to keep him, we're going to keep him. So we're going to take a look at a few players here, we've got Kondogbia who's rated 84 and he's only 22 years old and you can see the development process is still developing. So we're going to go and hopefully uh, negotiate a transfer for him. Now we struggled for pace in the last episode up top, so we're going to go for Lacazette, rated 83 and he's only 24 years old and still developing. I mean look at the finishing, 85 finishing, 85 speed. Oh, he's just a really good player and hopefully we can sign this guy too. Okay, so we're going into the first game of the episode against Aston Villa. We need those three points and uh, Joel Campbell's actually left the club. Okay, so the team we're going out with in the first game, we've got Danny Welbeck up top and giving him a chance. We've got Alexis Sanchez, Ozil Wilcott in midfield. Wilshire is also playing as well with Coughlin. Uh, Monreal, Gabriel, Mertesacker and Bellerin and Petacek in goal. Um, Aston Villa, they've got an okay team, they've got some alright players here and there, but nothing that special. Can we go out and get the three points? Uh, let's do this. So it's the second game in the Premier League campaign, and obviously the first game we beat Newcastle 3-0. Um, I'm hoping we can do the same to Aston Villa today and get the three points. We need to make a good start in this Premier League, and I've made the stupid mistake of picking the yellow kit when we're at home. Great one, James. Well done. Looking for a big performance from Danny Welbeck today because obviously looking at Lacazette, he could easily take his place. Danny Welbeck to Wilshire. Back to Danny Welbeck. Can he get a shot on? Pass the post. Nice early chance there. Here, Wilcott. Can he pass the defender? Yes, he does. Can he find anyone in the middle? Danny Welbeck with a first time shot. That is disappointing. Very poor effort there from Danny Welbeck. I don't think he got the connection that he wanted. But, um... That's two shots already for Danny Welbeck. And there it is, half-time, nil-nil against Aston Villa at home. We need to do much better because that was a very, very poor half. Danny Welbeck had a couple of shots. Um, but Aston Villa also had one as well, I remember. But nothing really to talk about. But stats, wow. Okay, possession, we're doing really bad. We have 37% possession. Aston Villa, 63. And that is really poor with us being at home. But we need to do better. Good challenge from Monreal. to Meza Ozil. Danny Welbeck's on the ball, past the defender, great vision from Danny Welbeck to find Fear Wilcock, we're 1-0 up guys, the deadlock has been broken and uh, Fear Wilcock scores once again, great goal. I have given Danny Welbeck a bit of stick but he, what a ball that was to Fear Wilcock and 1-0 uh, to the Arsenal, what a mistake there from the Aston Villa defence, Meza Ozil finds Danny Welbeck with a shot, 2-0. Wow, what a massive, massive mistake from Aston Villa straight from the kickoff. And uh, Mesut Ozil feeds Danny Welbeck. Good ball into Danny Welbeck, and Danny Welbeck has no hesitation to hit this first time. Pass the goalkeeper 2 0. Danny Welbeck. Back to Coquelin. He makes something of this. Finds Fear Wilcott. Fear Wilcott 3 0. 58 minutes gone. And we are absolutely cruising. Three points surely in the bag here. Fear Wilcott again scoring. What a man. And Petter is absolutely loving life at Arsenal. You can surely see it by just him punching the air. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit emotional. But Fear Wilcott scores. We're 2-0 up. Cruising. And that is it, guys. We've won 3-0 at home to Aston Villa. Um, we played really well that second half. We much improved. And we've bagged the three points to hopefully take us quite high in the league. Uh, man of the match for me was definitely Fear Wilcott, who bagged himself two goals. Possession-wise, though, we really need to uh, concentrate on. But 12 shots and 8 on target for us. They only had 2 and 1 on target. And I thought this might happen. Fear Walcott got a rating of 7, and so did Danny Welbeck. But Danny Welbeck got the man of the match. Okay, looking at the scores. Bournemouth won 2 0. Chelsea won. Uh, Southampton won. Everton won. Who else? One. Leicester won. Liverpool. Okay, some quite predictable scores there. 
Um, I don't think the league has changed much looking at that. So after beating Aston Villa 3 0, we're second now in the league and Southampton are top. It'll be quite interesting to see how long they're up there for. So after that game, it seems that Danny Werbeck has learned some stuff in training and is developing really, really well. So that's something to keep an eye on. So moving on to the 24th, it seems negotiation day, maybe something happening. So it seems like the talks for Kondogby have broken down. However, Lacazette, uh, it's been agreed 14.5 million transfer fee for him. I'm definitely going to go for that. He's only got one year in his contract. That seems quite a good deal for him. Um, hopefully he can grow into a very, very big player in this game. Um, we're going to go and accept that, accept the terms, and that should be our first player signed for Arsenal. So the talks for Kondogby broke down, so I'm thinking perhaps a cheeky bid for Vidal? Ugh. Doesn't hurt in trying, I guess. Next should be the UEFA Champions League group stage draw. Uh, hopefully we don't get a group of death. Okay, we get Benfica, Sevilla and Apollo. Apollo? <laughs> Probably saying that all wrong. Apollo FC. Um, looking at the other teams, they got some hard, hard groups. Man United got Barcelona, Ajax and Monaco. Man City got Juventus in there. Chelsea got Atletico Madrid. Uh, we're looking at the English teams. We didn't do too badly. So Messi wins the UEFA Best Player in Europe award. No surprises there. Um, maybe, just maybe one of our players will be winning this award in the future. So Lacazette has joined up with the squad. He signs for Arsenal. And uh, yeah, we've had a bit of a cheeky bid for Pogba as well, but I don't think that's happening. So Pogba has been agreed 22.2 million. That seems a lot of money. I think, oh, so I'm gonna really regret this, but I'm gonna try to adjust the terms and uh, hopefully reduce the transfer fee. This could be, oh, I think this might be a big mistake, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So for the last game in the episode, we're against Bournemouth away from home. Funnily enough, the actual town that I'm recording this in, but uh, we've got Danny Welbeck, Sanchez, Santi Cazorla, Chamberlain in midfield, Flamini, Coughlin in defense midfield, Monreal, Gabriel, um, Mertzaka, Bellerin in defence and Petacek in goal and Lacazette will be starting on the bench. So we've got Lacazette on the bench, hopefully I won't need to use him and uh, Daniel Welbeck will perform like he did in the last game. He played really, really well in the last game and uh, yeah, it's against Bournemouth so I'm hoping we can dominate the game but I'm not too sure really. Let's get kickoff on the way and bag some goals. Come on, defend this well. Come on, Monreal, get it out. What? It's only been two minutes. What on earth is that? We're 1-0 down. Monreal with the clearance of... Okay, I'm going to have a breakdown. King scores against us in two minutes. Petr Cech, have a sip, mate. Have a sip. It's going to be a long match for us, I think. Um, Monreal should be doing better. They should just booted it out. What was going on there? Come on. Danny Welbeck. Why is he going for a header from there? And that is half time, guys. A really, really frustrating first half. Cannot believe we conceded so early. Um, but yeah, we didn't really have much to talk about the first half. Danny Welbeck didn't really perform. They had one shot, that being the goal, and we've only had four shots. Uh, but I think it's time to make a change. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to get Lacazette off Danny Welbeck. I think that's, that should happen. And I think I'm going to get Santi Cazorla. Uh, replace him with Ozil. So I'm praying to God that's enough firepower to get us back into this game. Chamberlain gets the ball back to Lacazette. Lacazette with the shot. Keeper saves. Oh, not bad there from Lacazette. Sanchez to Mezzet to Lacazette. Lacazette with the shot. And there you have it, guys. We've equalised. Lacazette scores on his debut. The equaliser is there. And, uh, yeah, we're back in this game, guys. God, that is a relief indeed. Lacazette gets the ball. Slots it home to equalise. 1-1. One, one. Lacazette gets tackled. Flamini with the tackle. Gets the ball. 2-1, yes. All people with a score. Flamini scores. And uh, we are winning this. Flamini doing what he does best. A crunching tackle. <laughs> a crunching tackle. Gets the ball back. And places it. Great stuff. Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. God, how have they scored again? Chips the ball over Petr Cech. I thought it'd be a good idea to get the keeper out. I didn't think Richie would score that. And it ends 2-2, guys. Disappointing. I know we're 1-0 down, but we were in the lead at one point, and uh, we should have done better to actually keep that lead. I mean, take a look at them stats. 
Oh, Bournemouth had two goals. Uh, they're only shots on target. Uh, can't believe it. We had 12 shots, 8 on target. We need to do better in front of goal. Make our chances count. Lacazette, funnily enough, got a rating of 7 coming off the bench. Um, and he got man of the match. So good start for Lacazette. So looking at the scores, Chelsea won today. 3-1. Uh, Crystal Palace won. Everton won. Uh, Leicester City won against Southampton. Wow, okay. Big, big score there. Uh, what else? Liverpool won. Okay, Man United drew. Wow, what a big, big result there for Swansea. Looking at the league, Man City are now top. Chelsea is second. Uh, Everton a third. And we are now down to fourth with seven points. Man United just behind us in fifth. Oh, I knew that was a massive mistake. Why did I even do that? I should have just accepted the 22 million. But talks with Paul Pogba have broken down. Negotiation date, last day of the transfer window. It doesn't seem likely we're gonna get anyone else in. Okay, we've got some offers in for Koscielny from Galatasaray. Uh, Flamini's also got an offer from Marseille. Danny Welbeck from Stoke. Uh, okay, we've got Vidal. Oh, updated situation for Vidal. 22 million for Koscielny, 30 million for Vidal. Wow, I should just accepted Paul Pogba's. Um, but oh, I don't know, I'm gonna go for it I think. Flamini. 5.3 mil, Welbeck 17. We're going to end negotiations for Welbeck. Um, Flamini, I'm going to accept, I think, because he's an okay player, but 5 mil is the right deal for him. 75 mil altogether now. Not too bad in the current funds. Uh, Koscielny, I'm going to end negotiations because he's a rock solid player for us. And Vidal, 30 million. I'm just going to accept it. I can't not get a big player on transfer deadline day. You know what Arsenal fans are like. 45 million now in the current funds, but um, that's a big player for us. So we're gonna take a look at the Barclays Premier League Team of the Month. I think I saw Mesut Ozil in there, yes I did. We've got Sturridge, Aguero, Hazard, Ozil, Schweinsteiger, Diara, uh, Taiwo, Hummels, Company, Layet, uh, and Forrester in the Team of the Month. Things to look forward to in the next month, we've got two big Champions League games on the 15th and the 29th. Also a massive, massive derby against Chelsea on the 19th. And here we are guys, we have signed a world-class midfielder on the last day of the transfer window. Atoro Vidal signs for Arsenal. A massive, massive player to get on the last day. He joins the midfield, shakes my hand. Seriously, thumbs up. What a way to ruin a moment. Oh, friend! But Flamini leaves the club and we replace him with Atoro Vidal. Wow, what a time to be alive. And that wraps it up, guys. The end of the episode. We have signed Lacazette and Vidal for Arsenal. Cannot believe it. And uh, next episode, we got our first game in the Champions League. Um, where hopefully Vidal will make his debut. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you later, guys, with another episode. Cheers.